Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a plus b, this is equal to 20, we can call this equation 1, a times b is equal to 44, let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b? So let's prevent the solution here. From equation 1, which is a plus b, this is equal to 20. Let's make b the subject of the formula so that we have b is equal to 20 minus a. And let's call this equation 3. From equation 3, let's substitute into equation 2, which is a, b is equal to 44. Substituting b here, we'll have a times 20 minus a. This is equal to 44. So let's expand this. 20 times a, this is 20a, minus a times a, which is a squared, this is equal to 44. The next step is to take 44 on the left hand side, so that now we have 20a minus a squared minus 44, this is equal to 0 from here. Let's rearrange this equation so that we have minus a squared plus 20a minus 44, this is equal to 0. The next step is to divide both signs by negative 1, so that now negative a squared divided by minus 1, this becomes a squared, then plus 20a divided by minus 1, this becomes minus 20a, then minus 44 divided by minus 1, this becomes plus 44, this is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form a x squared plus b x plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 20, and we have that c is equal to 44. Now, let's solve for a1, comma a2 by applying the quadratic formula that is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that now here we have minus minus 20 plus or minus the square root of minus 20 squared minus 4 times a, a is 1, then times c, which is 44. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus 20, this is 20 plus or minus the square root of minus 20 raised to the power of 2, this is 400. Then we have 44 times 4, and this is equal to 176. Everything here divided by 2. So this implies here we have 20 plus or minus the square root of 400 minus 176, and this is equal to 224 from here divided by 2 so here we have this is 20 plus or minus we can express the square root of 224 as 16 times 14 everything here divided by 2 so here we have 20 plus or minus the square root of 16 this is 4 then square root of 14 everything here divided by 2. So we have that 2 is common here, we can factor out 2, so that now here in the parentheses we have 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 14, cross the parentheses, everything here divided by 2. So if we simplify 2 here, this implies that we have 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 14. So we have two values of a, we have a1 
is equal to 10 plus 2 square root of 14. And we have that a2 is equal to 10 minus 2 square root of 14. So let's solve for the corresponding values of b. From equation 3, we have that b is the same thing as 20 minus a. So let's start with b1. This is equal to 20 minus a1. a1 is 10 plus 2 square root of 14. So this implies here that 20 minus 10, this is 10, minus times plus 2 square root of 14, this becomes minus 2 square root of 14. So we have the first set of solution here, that is a1, comma b1, this is equal to, we have 10 plus 2 square root of 14, and b1 which is 10 minus 2 square root of 14. So this is the first set of solution that we have. Let's proceed to solve b2. Remember b2 is equal to 20 minus a2. a2 is 10 minus 2 square root of 14. So here we have 20 minus 10. This is equal to 10 minus times minus 2 square root of 40. This becomes plus 2 square root of 14. So we have b2 and this implies we can now set the second set of solution here. Now we have a2 and b2 so this means that a2 comma b2 this is the same thing as 10 minus 2 square root of 14 comma b2 b2 is 10 plus 2 square root of 14. So this is the second set of solution that we have. Now from this part here, let's verify that a1, b1, remember a1, b1, this is equal to, a1, b1, this is equal to 10 plus 2 square root of 14, then 10 minus 2 square root of 14. So let's verify. Now. If you recall from equation 1, which is a plus b, this is supposed to give us a value of 20. This was equation 1. We have equation b, it's a times b, this is supposed to give us a value of 44. So let's substitute a1, b1 first into equation 1. Therefore we have 10 plus 2 square root of 14 then plus 10 minus 2 square root of 14. This should give us a value of 20 from here. So 2 square root of 14 minus 2 square root of 14, this simplifies so that now 10 plus 10, this is equal to 20, which is equal to 20. So we have that the left add side, this is equal to the right add side. And this implies that a1, b1 satisfies the equation. Let's check a2 and b2 from here by applying equation 2. Equation 2 is a times b. This should give us a value of 44. So we have a is 10 minus 2 square root of 14. Multiplied by, we have 10 plus 2 square root of 14. This is supposed to give us a value of 44. So we have 10. This is 10 times 10 plus 2 square root of 14. Then minus 2 square root of 14. Multiplying by 10 plus 2 square root of 14. This should give us a value of 44. So 10 times 10, this is 100. Then 10 times 2 square root of 14, this becomes 20 square root of 14. Then minus 2 square root of 14 times 10, so minus 20 square root of 14. And then here we have minus 2 square root of 14 times plus 2 square root of 14. This implies that here we have 
minus, this is 2 times 2, this is 4, then square root of 14 times square root of 14. This is supposed to give us a value of 44. The next step is that 20 square root of 14 and minus 20 square root of 14 simplifies so that now we have 100 minus here we have 4 times we have that square root of a times square root of a this is the same thing as a now from this property we have square root of 14 times square root of 14 this is the same thing as 14 so this is supposed to give us a value of 44. So we have 100 minus 14 times 4. This is equal to 56. This should give us a value of 44. 100 minus 56. This is 44. Which is equal to 44. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and therefore this implies that a2 b2 also satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe see you in the next video